This does have really, really good longevity projection. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanted to do a little re-review or a little review on Babylon Fragrances Cerise. Now, this is a copy of Tom Ford's Lost Cherry. Now, Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, this is a fragrance that I think is okay. It really wasn't mind-blowing. It's a kind of a little bit simple. I feel like I have smelled the original fragrance, but I do not have a decant of it right here. So I'm kind of going to be going off just the overall smell quality and what I remember of Lost Cherry personally. I wore this lots of days, probably up to a week. When I'm trying to shoot a video and I haven't had time to shoot it, I just keep trying the fragrance as much as I can. Maybe I'll learn something new. So I have worn this a lot, a lot, a lot. This is going to be a reoccurring theme with this video, but it really is going to depend on if you like cherry and if you like this kind of cherry because there's not that much extra stuff going on. I do find that it is a little bit more fresh in the top, but generally it just smells a little bit like cherry. It's kind of hard for me to recommend a lot of the normal things that I would because it's going to depend on do you like cherry. Cherry doesn't really smell overly male or female. I find this is a little bit more easy to wear if you're a female after I was thinking about it, but originally I just picked this up because I actually wanted to smell it. And when I was trying the little samples that Babylon Frank fragrances had sent me. I actually really did like the Lost Cherry or the Cerise here. I forgot to look up the notes of this fragrance right before I was shooting this video. I will put those notes down below, but to be honest guys, it really just smells kind of like a balmy, smooth, a little bit synthetic. This fragrance does smell good, so don't worry. The pros of this fragrance is that in my opinion, it does smell like Lost Cherry. Again, I'm not comparing it directly to Lost Cherry, but from what I remember, 100% Lost Cherry. To be honest, Lost Cherry isn't a fragrance that is really too hard to create i will give it to tom ford that i haven't smelled anything that smells like that before but i don't think it's that hard to recreate it has a very full smell 100 percent in my opinion that sexy kind of vibe i do get a little bit more in the dry down the top is good i will say there is a little bit of freshness in the top that i smell overall that freshness does kind of go away and it's just cherry like a very smooth slightly synthetic cherry if you try to love cherry different things you will have come across this kind of flavoring of cherry and it is more of the synthetic kind but it doesn't really smell really that bad it's just going to depend on do you like cherry or do you not like cherry this does have really really good longevity and projection i went over to my friend's house i sprayed this up i don't know how many times maybe four or five i went inside and then somebody ended up coming in later in the night and saying oh well like i could tell josh is here right when i opened up the door because they could smell this that had been i mean maybe up to an hour later i don't remember it was definitely after i couldn't smell it i didn't think i smelled like anything but the times that i did spray this up to test it it really is noticeable and i'll say that longevity and projection is a very strong point on this one and then the last pro is that it can have a unique sexiness like i was saying it's not the most sexy fragrance that i've ever smelled but it does have more in the dry down a little bit of this transparent sexy vibe it has a lot of longevity and projection but it is a very smooth scent once it lingers later on it almost has a little bit of transparency but that is way later on so let's jump into the cons of this fragrance the cons is that it is that cheaper smell in cherry babylon fragrances and tom ford can almost make any fragrance that they want they have access to all these unique oils and i'm not at all bashing babylon fragrances for this because they're copying tom ford in my opinion they nailed it but it does have that cheaper smell in cherry which is a little bit bizarre when you have access to everything you're just going to make a very smooth synthetic cherry you know what i mean it does smell pretty good but it's hard to say if this is for males or for females because it just smells like cherry i do think that it kind of works a little bit better with females it just smells like cherry it doesn't have those other nuances in my opinion that push it towards a male or female as it's kind of simple it doesn't really do anything extra it's not trying to be cherry incorporated this way or the, or a fresh new kind of cherry or a kind of a masculine cherry or a feminine cherry it's just cherry to me that's the only two cons though i don't really have anything else bad to say about it if i was going to give this a smell rating i'd give this a solid eight it is very smooth it is very high quality it doesn't have any rough parts to it i haven't smelled the lost cherry dna before it came out so i got to give it an eight likability I think this is overall a very likable scent, but just because of the strong opening and the simplicity, I'm going to have to knock off just a few points for putting it really high. I'm going to give us an 8 out of 10 because I do think it is very likable, but at the same time, it doesn't really do anything extra. It's not something going to be like, wow, like that's the most unique scent or wow, what are you wearing? In my opinion, it's just more like, oh, it smells good. It smells different. It's like, again, if you like cherry, it's going to be good. If you don't, it's going to be bad. Usually I write up some situations for this, but 
it's just really hard for me to pin down because it just smells like cherry. Do you want to smell like cherries on a date? I would say probably more for the women. I might wear this around a female again at a certain time trying to be a little bit different, a little bit sexy, but it wouldn't be the first thing that I'm going for. For a woman, I could see them pulling this off a lot more. I mean, for work, it doesn't really smell bad, but it smells like cherry. So it's like, do you want to smell like cherries at work? It's all up to you. Again, I think females could pull that off a little bit more than males can. For the gym, this I guess would be okay for the gym, but it's really strong, 100% one spray. It does have a little bit of a lightness, but it's again, do you want to smell like cherry or do you not want to smell like cherry? That's been my review of Cerise by Babylon Fragrances. A very well done fragrance. What do you think about the Lost Cherry DNA? What do you think? Think about Babylon fragrances. Have you tried Cerise? Do you think it's a sexy fragrance? Do you not? I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace. The notes, uh, sorry to... <laughs>